I'm here with Lori Reinberger, and I think you'd be hard-pressed to find anybody who loves orchids as much as she does. You are a collector of I orchids, am. Lori. I am a collector. So how did this get started with you? Well, about 12 years, I received two orchids from Hawaii from a friend of mine who was there. And I had a small greenhouse where I was growing uh, cactus. And the cactuses were kind of prickling me, so I said, well, maybe I'll try these. And so I tried a couple dendrobiums, and I was a little intimidated, like most people, when they first get orchids. And so I did some homework, kind of got on the internet, got some books, read, read about them, found out about their care. And then slowly, my orchid collection turned into a passion and a sickness. To the tune of 10,000 orchids later. And I now later. own 10,000 orchids. <laughs> and I brought a few of my orchids today to show everyone. To, to well, you know, I think so many people are intimidated by orchids. They, there's a fear factor because they're plants that grow in, on, like, up in trees. They really don't grow in soil. There they are a do. few terrestrial yeah. ones, but most of them are, are aerial plants. That's correct. But there's so many of the families. So let, let's talk a little bit about some of the different types sure. of orchids. Sure. This white one is just breathtaking. That's a cat in the Cattleya Alliance and a beautiful thing. We see them for corsages and things. Very, very simple, very easy to grow. They like what we like. And again, very stunning, very they, they really rewarding. Are. And orchids, some of them have lovely fragrance. This one, I swear, smells like chocolates and cherries. Absolutely, that's a sherry baby. Um, wonderful thing, stays very easy again to bloom and easy to grow. They like what we like. Um, Five, or se five to seven spikes on that, it's going to be in bloom for two to three months. And, you know, there are species, just like in all the plant family of orchids, and those tend to be more costly, and they're, they're, they're kind of, you know, scary to people because you're putting out so much money, but this is one, and it's beautiful. It's stunning. And again, it will be in bloom for two to three months in your home, providing lovely, lovely, lovely things. And again, it will continue to grow, continue to uh, bloom for you, and again, it's just, it's just a stunning thing. And yes, unusual. It's rare. Again, it's a species, which means it's God-made. Um, you'll find it out in, in the wild, opposed to a hybrid, which is where you take a combination of, say, this plant and this plant together, and the babies produce a hybrid, so you'd mix the names together. Fascinating. Yep. Now, some things that are orchids don't look like orchids. This does not look like an orchid at all. This is an orchid, believe it or not. And again, that's why I brought it. Um, quite unusual, over 200 blooms on mm. it. Each one of those is a bloom. Absolutely quite beautiful. Stunning. You know, I think too, in, in this industry, a lot of people do know the name Lady Slipper. That Correct. That makes sense to them. You have brought several here that are beautiful. Yep, that's the Pathopetalum. Path well, that's alliance. easy for you to say. <laughs> And again, it comes in the multi-floral types here. Again, Beautiful. another multi-floral. And the singles as well. But again, easy to, easy to grow. Just exquisite, Really, really simple to grow blooms. in your home. Not to be intimidated by those. They like what we like. And again, I find that orchids are, if you, you can kill them with kindness. Yes. If you basically water them once a week, just take them over to your sink and drench them really nicely once a week, put them back in a nice little sunny window, They'll reward you and reward you over and over again. Well, you know, and Lori, the colors, this this vivid orange is exquisite. Which one is that? This is a, in the Cattleya Alliance also. And again, stunning. It, this kind of reminds me of Halloween. Yeah. I just love this color. This one also comes in a, in a yellow. You don't see it this dark and this orange. That's why I brought this. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we've talked about how they easy. They like what they like. What is it that makes them easy? The watering, do you fertilize insects, stuff like I that? I do, all of that. Uh, t they tend to get aphids, so you do want to keep up on that. Make sure that the, you stay away from the just little pesky things. It's real easy just to spray them and, and then repeat it in a week or so, and that goes away. Fertilizers we have here, a little top dressing of Osmoco. Yeah, you like Osmoco. I do, and that's easy. I do. It is easy. In addition to that, you can also use these water-based mixtures, and right when you're watering your plants once a week, you can water with fertilizer. And it just and it, to dress them up, you, you suggest a little leaf shine. On I the do. Leaves. I like a little leaf shine. That way, then with the fertilizer and things that you tend to water them with, it hides some of that. Well, you know, there's nothing quite as exotic as an orchid bloom. So go to any of your independent garden centers, talk to them. You can even join the Orchid Society, which is right here in Portland, which Lori is a part of. So for more information, go to GardenTime.tv, and uh, you can find out all kinds of great things about growing orchids in your own home.